how often do you? Do possums belong in New Zealand? Yes. When they came here, they started to eat our birds' eggs and even eat the chicks. Do I normally talk about how we kill things? No. But if any possums, rats, stoats or weasels in New Zealand, are we going to have any of our endemic native birds left? No. So these guys don't belong, do they? So they'll need to go. Christine Daniel is an environmental studies teacher at Sunny Hills Primary School in Auckland, New Zealand. Okay, guys, come this way. For the past year, she's been teaching all 600 of her students, aged 5 to 11, to kill as go. many rats, possums, Push and stoats as possible. And we're going to come and ch uh, check this tomorrow. If we do find some footprints, then we're going to put out some traps. Okay. We're special in New Zealand, we're isolated, we're far away from everywhere. We have one of the highest numbers of endemic mm -hmm. populations of birds in the world. If our kākāpō get all killed, or our kiwi, or our kia, or our tui, you're not going to find those anywhere else in the world. Christine has good reason to worry about the birds. With the exception of a few bat species, there are no terrestrial mammals native to New Zealand. So for millions of years, flightless birds and reptiles thrived there. But that all changed when humans came along, with rats, possums, and ferret-like animals called stoats in tow. Today, those mammals are responsible for the death of around 25 million of the country's native birds each year. So the kids at Sunny Hills are fighting back by setting traps around the school and making posters. We're going in here? Yeah. Oh my, what are these posters? So these are wanted posters. It says here that wanted name ferret, crime killing New Zealand's beautiful birds. Which are the animals that you want to kill the most? Well, Possibly the stoat, the possum, the all these guys on here, they kill the birds over here. Some of these children are really young. They might see a stoat. Stoats are actually adorable. How do you teach kids that we need to get rid of these animals here? You're right. Stoats are adorable. If you look at uh, pictures of possums, they're gorgeous. I'm running a bit of a propaganda campaign. And, uh, you know, we can show the fierce pictures because if you mm. think of possums in Australia, they're vegetarians. Mm. Mm. They can be cute in Australia, but they can't be cute here because they've actually evolved to eat our birds' eggs okay. and chicks. Mm -hmm. It's a sad irony that I am teaching them a bit about killing yeah. soft furry animals, but to preserve our beautiful environment here in New Zealand, we need to win the hearts and minds of the kids. Christine and her students aren't the sole protectors of New Zealand's native birds. For decades, the Department of Conservation has maintained small pest-free reserves like the Tafarunui Open Sanctuary, where native birds can live in peace. Getting to this point has involved killing quite a few invasive mammals. But that's nothing compared with what the government is attempting to do now. In 2016, New Zealand announced an ambitious initiative called Predator Free 2050, which aims to eradicate every single rat, possum, and stoat from the country in just over 30 years. According to a study from 2015, this would cost the government around $6.5 billion. So, Kind of break this down for me. The plan is to get rid of every single rat, stoat, and possum. How many animals is, is, does so that it, actually amount to? That's too many to count. <laughs> so we're talking a lot. So estimates are around about perhaps between, somewhere between 30 to 70 million possums in the country. At least 100 million rats in the country. Right. Of, in a country of four and a half million people. Dan Tompkins is in charge of the science strategy for Predator Free 2050 Limited the government-created company tasked with making this ambitious plan a reality. This goal of getting rid of all these predators, yep. has this ever been done before? Right, so no, it hasn't. So this is a world first. To be fair, other places in the world have succeeded with smaller eradication projects, like the goats in the Galapagos. But what New Zealand is trying to do at this scale is unprecedented. If New Zealand were to stop all management of predators right now, what would happen to the birds? We would most likely use more than 95% of our native bird life. Do you have the tools that you need to get rid of stoats and, and rats? I think most people agree that that would be too hard right now. 
we can do pretty well at getting them down to low enough numbers that benefits the native biodiversity. But if we really wanted to eradicate from large areas, we're going to need something new. What Tompkins is talking about is genetic targeting and engineering. But New Zealand scientists are nowhere near ready to deploy these tactics. So in the meantime, one company is taking a different approach by fully committing to the know your enemy principle. All of these were born in the wild, caught in the wild. Correct. How many stoats do you have here? So we have, at the moment, we've got 22. Tom Agnew is the predator behavior team leader for the nonprofit Zero Invasive Predators, or ZIP. He showed us the testing field where ZIP staff try to get in the heads of their adversaries. What exactly is going on here? What's going on here? One of the things that Zip's interested in doing mm -hmm. uh, is testing the traditional predator fence height of 1.8 metres, uh, which is a height that's set in, in New Zealand and other countries for cats. Are we able to reduce that predator fence height so that it's more socially acceptable, mm -hmm. but also more economic as well? So this is kind of the cutting edge of, of stoat, possum and rat fencing? Is that yeah. what you're telling me? I mean, it's pretty basic and it's really simple, but um, that's why I love this trial so much. Besides making a lower fence, Zip is also developing pest detection tools and an electric cattle grid that zaps intruders. This approach illustrates one of the biggest challenges the country faces. It's going to take a ton of tools to kill hundreds of millions of animals. And even that might not make them a pest-free nation. For me, it's about, um, you know, the identity as a, as a New Zealander. I mean, don't get me wrong, these guys are amazing creatures. They're really clever, they're really intelligent, yes. Um, but they are also, uh, you know, ferocious killing machines to us. 